Hey everyone, this is Jeremy from Pig Barbecue, and this is Brian from House of Q. Hello, I'm Barbecue Barbe Brian. Barbecue Brian, that's right. And we're here to do a seasoning of a whole hog to show you how to do it the right way uh, before you cook up your pigs. So here we go. Let's get started. So to get started on, the, on preparing the hog, one of the steps that you can do to get extra flavor inside the meat is by injecting it with some seasoning. This is a recipe that you can have. It'll be here with pig barbecue. It's some apple juice, Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce, and salt. Kosher, kosher salt, yeah. Kosher salt, there we go. Mix it all together. Make sure the salt is all nicely dissolved, not sitting all on the bottom here. And you'll need a syringe, just like this, which is available here as well. Suck this all in here, and we're gonna inject this all throughout the hog. Again, it is an optional step, but a really good one if you want some extra flavor. All right, so this pig has been injected already throughout for uh, time purposes. We're just giving you a quick um, tutorial on how to do it. Now, it is important to remember that you wanna focus mainly on the rear legs and the front shoulders of the pig. Those are the largest sections of meat. And also, you do not want to puncture through the skin. You wanna go always through the inside of the pig. The skin is gonna act as a bladder to keep all the moisture inside. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is you wanna dry off all the excess liquid that has oozed out from um, when you were injecting. So you just wanna make sure that you get this whole inside cavity really dry. We're just using paper towel here. Um, this is just gonna help your mustard and rub stick better. So just make sure that's all nice and, and dry. And we're ready for seasoning. So coming from a competitive barbecue cook's point of view, that's me, I'm a pit master. I want layer and layer of, of tremendous volume of flavor whenever I'm cooking pork. And then in this instance, and when I'm cooking ribs or pork shoulders or a whole hog, one of the layers I use is slow smoke gold, my mustard sauce. We're gonna smear this on the inside of this pig before we put the seasoning on the rub. And so this, I've won number two in the world out of 400 sauces in Kansas City. I think you're gonna like it too. So as I smear this on, we've got the house rub. Jeremy's got that one. And I'll smear this on. The house rub has got some great seasoning. So I'll pour a little bit in get my hand in here and just smear around the mustard so that as we put the rub on, it will stick all to that mustard on the inside of the pig. So as I smear it towards the, the, the front part or the shoulders of the hog, I'll put a little bit more mustard in here. Jeremy, do you want to sprinkle on some of that rub? That's the house yeah, rub. Sure. It's gluten-free, made here in BC. One that we use all the time in our competition tent at House of Q. All right, make sure you're super generous with this house rub here. Uh, it's gonna add a ton of flavor to your pig. And later when you're carving it up, you're really gonna notice this um, on the meat here on the inside of the pig and you're gonna wanna get that throughout, throughout the meat as you're carving. It's probably good to have a friend with you when you're doing this. Yeah. <laughs> to open things up and help you smear this all around. There you go. Now we might need a little more mustard in there. What do you think? Mm -hmm. uh, sticking on there pretty good. Yeah, looking good. Okay. Now again, this is all on the inside of the hog. So now we want to make sure that the skin is scored. So this is going to help it crisp up. It's also going to help us get more flavoring into um, the skin. Although if, if you wouldn't cut the skin, it's going to keep um, it's going to keep more of the flavor on just the skin rather than allowing it to It's going to be really crisp and solid on the outside, right? Right, yeah. So this, this opens it up to get more flavor in there. More flavor into the meat and it's also going to help the skin to crisp up. All right, so we're just doing a crosshatch score here. All across, um, mainly again, the back legs and the front shoulders of the pig. Now you're just going through the skin and not into the meat, That's right? right. You're just cutting through the skin and not penetrating the meat at all. And I usually do about an inch and a half, inch and a quarter. Spacing um, between spacing. each line, okay. Yep, that's right. So you've gone one direction, now you're switching to the other direction to create Correct. like a diamond pattern. Yeah, this is kind of a cross hatch idea here. And that's kind of what it's gonna look like when you're done. 
So Jeremy just finished scoring uh, the hog, and next is we're gonna add some oil all over the surface, and use a high temperature oil, a high smoke point oil. Skip your olive oil, and just use like a canola, sunflower, or something like that. And I'm just gonna use my hands and smear it all over the outside of the skin, and then we're gonna get on to the next preparation here. Now, the reason the oil is that as it cooks, this will create a crisp skin. All right, so now that Brian has put the oil onto the pig, we're going to salt it and season it. So this is just gonna help the skin again to crisp up some more and also get extra flavoring. If you like that crackling, this is kind of the secret. So extra salt is only gonna do good things. So you've smeared salt all over the outside, Jeremy. Yeah, that's right. Head, head to toe. Perfect. And now we're gonna do some rub, right? Correct. So the house rub, one of my creations goes really well with pork amongst a lot of other dishes but you want to give it a little bit of air let it sprinkle around all over give it a nice even coating and this will help not only give it a beautiful color and some flavor on that skin as your hog cooks Over the ears and the head? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and sprinkle that too. So when you're doing this, don't just sprinkle on the top. Make sure you get right on the on the seams right here on the bottom because that's got some great flavor down there and still stuff to eat too. So get it all the way on the bottom. This is looking fantastic. That seasoning is all over the whole hog here, Jeremy. What, what's next? So now we're ready for the smoker. Off to so the we're smoker. Gonna, we're gonna throw it on to the, uh, we got a smoker right here. So we're gonna throw it on there pretty soon. You should uh, watch our other video on how to cook it. Um, that goes through all the cooking instructions. We also have an instruction sheet for you. Once the pig comes off the smoker, do you have some more recommendations for us? Well, this is kind of exciting. I, I love taking, if you've cooked everything properly, it's gonna have some beautiful dark skin on the outside. That's actually some good eating. On the inside, the meat should just shred and fall right on apart. There's nothing holding it together. It might also be solid, but you can slice that. Still some good eating, right? Absolutely. Add some more seasoning, add some more sauce, make a sandwich, just eat it off of a plate, have it right on your hand, no forks required whatsoever. <laughs> Whatever your preference, you're cooking a whole hog.